Hi everyone, this is Lady Vintage Bags here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. And today I'm doing a video about my five top best value for money handbags. So I saw that another YouTuber, Vivian Connolly, had just released her video about top 10 best value for money handbags on her channel and she did a brilliant job on it. So I'm going to link her video down below so give that a watch as well. So she did 10 handbags, but I'm only going to be showing 5 handbags. And as you know, I'm a pre-loved vintage handbag kind of girl. So all my 5 picks are going to be pre-loved vintage best value for money handbags. So if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like button and hit subscribe and hit that notification bell. So you'll always be notified every time I put out a new upload. So let's get started. So I'm going to go through these handbags in no particular order. So I'm going to start off with... My beautiful St. Cloud GM. So this bag you can get in monogram canvas or you can get it in epi leather if you're not a logo mania sort of person. So these bags are currently trending on eBay for between $400 and $1,000 depending on what sort of condition you want. But you can still get relatively good ones for under $700 Australian dollars. Now why is this a good value for money bag? So you can see here it's just one big compartment and one zippered compartment. So Let's see why this is great value for money. So let's do the water bottle test. Is it going to fit a 600 ml water bo bottle of water? Yes, it does. How great is that? Let's do a full wallet test. Is this going to fit a full size wallet? I know a lot of people are using mini wallets or card holders, but this can still fit a full size wallet plus a 600 ml bottle of water. Let's do a cardigan test. Sometimes it gets chilly and you want to be able to have a spare cardigan just in case. Okay, now that fits. Now I can't close the handbag with all three in there, but most people don't use all three things together anyway. So as you can see, this bag can hold quite a lot. Now I'm going to take the cardigan out. Some of you may be dog lovers out there and you may be wanting a nice luxury vintage bag for your little dog walk. Can this fit a leash? Yes, it can. And I can even close the handbag. So this bag can fit quite a lot. As you can see, there's a full-size bottle of water, a full-size wallet, and my dog leash in there as well. Even though most people don't usually carry those things together, that's just an indicator as to what sort of capacity this handbag has. Now, for all you back pocket lovers out there, it actually has a back pocket too. So I'm just going to try to fit a phone in there. And there it is. So that's going to appeal to a lot of people. Now there is one special thing I like about this handbag as well. It has a really nice structured bottom. So that means this can stand up on its own even when empty. So I'll just demonstrate on this shelf here. So that's just the bag empty. It's just standing up beautifully on its own. It's not toppling over or anything. I don't know if anyone else out there loves that feature of a handbag, but I love it when my bags can just stand up on their own beautifully and not topple over. So I'll just show you some mod shots of this St. Cloud GM. So as you can see here, it comes with this really comfortable shoulder pad. So this is a really nice size saddle bag. It's not too big. I'm only 156 centimeters. I think that's only 5'1 or 5'2 for the Americans watching. And I'm about 53 kilos. So as you can see, I'm a petite person. And this bag is not too big on me at all. So this bag is going to fit a variety of different body shapes and types out there, guys. Really good value. Really suitable for a lot of people out there. And also, it's not too feminine. So it's got a bit of a unisex look to it. So this can be carried by everyone, really. And it's also not too mature and not too young. So this can fit a whole variety of ages as well. Because it's not a trendy bag per se, if you're just someone who likes the shape, likes the size, go for it. Now, if you want to see my review video on this beautiful St. Cloud GM, I'll link it above, or it'll be in the description box below for you. You Watch that video, guys. You'll really like it. Now, I got mine at a really good price of about 200-ish Australian dollars from an Instagram seller from Thailand back in 2018. And what I've seen a lot of people do to improve the versatility of this bag is actually cut off the original strap so that they can use this D-ring to use other straps with it. I've seen people use monogram straps or just any other strap that they like. So that's my first best value for money handbag. So my second best value for money handbag is right here. For all you tote lovers out there, this is a vintage Louis Vuitton sack weekend. 
and it has all the features of a tote that I was looking for that I couldn't find in a newer model Louis Vuitton tote. So the first is you get feet. I think having feet on a handbag is a really nice feature. Secondly, you've got front and back slip pockets. So I'll just show you what it looks like when using a phone. So you can't fit your phone horizontally, but you can fit your phone vertically, even though the phone may stick out. If you just have that side up against your body, then you have more security. So I wouldn't put it on the side that's facing the public. The next feature that makes it best value for money, I've just got a bag insert in here, is that it's leather lined. How many totes do you find these days that are fully leather lined? Not as many as they used to be. Most totes these days come with a fabric lining or maybe a suede lining, but this is a durable leather lining. So if anything spills, it's really easy to clean up and less likely to stain. You also get a large zippered compartment. So really nice large zippered compartment. So it is otherwise a big black hole. So that's why I've got a small organizer in there. You've got a top zip. So I'm not really liking an idea of a large tote with just a huge opening. I do like the idea of a zip and this one has just that. And it's got rolled handles. So they're nice and thick and round. So it just looks like so. So how much did I pay for this? So I paid 550 Australian dollars in 2020. So these Louis Vuitton sack weekend PM sizes, it also comes in a GM, but that's not really a shoulder tote. That's more of a hand carry travel bag. This is also originally a travel bag, but it's actually in the shape of a modern day tote. So these bags are trending on eBay for between 400 and about a thousand Australian dollars too, just depending on what sort of condition you want to pick up. But I bought mine for 550 Australian dollars. So compare this to the current prices of luxury totes. So compared to a Neverfull, this is just only a fraction of the price. And this is not Bichetta leather. This is that treated vintage leather. So it's not going to patina or have water spots on it. So it's really easy and carefree. And if you want more versatility, you can add straps. So if you'd like to see my review video on this handbag, I'll just insert the link up above and it'll be in the description down below too. Now, if you want more versatility with this bag, you can also add straps so that you don't have to wear it so close up against your underarm. You can wear it a bit longer. Okay, so this is the first set of straps I'm demonstrating. So this is just a cotton guitar style strap. Okay, so as you can see here, now it's sitting much lower further down my body so it's going to be easier for me to get in and out of the bag and so now I can just easily grab my things in and out. So that's the beauty of the versatility of this bag. It's got these large D-rings so that you can add straps. Okay guys so this is the next strap I'm going to demonstrate with. So this is a black leather strap so this was from a Chinese seller on eBay and it's like a dupe for the Speedy B25 strap which is a three-piece strap. So I just removed the middle piece and so now it looks like so. So this black strap goes really nice with it too. So you can see how versatile this bag is by using extra straps. And that really adds to the value for money of this bag. As you can see here, it's giving me that Louis Vuitton on the go GM vibes. And if you'd like to see how this bag is the look for less of the Louis Vuitton on the go GM, I'll link that video for you. If you want to click up above or find it in the description box down below. Okay, so we're going to take a break from Louis Vuitton and we're going to head off to Chanel. So guys, this is my beautiful single flap lambskin bag. This is a bit of a small size and it's got that beautiful 24 karat coated hardware there. Isn't she beautiful? So this is a single flap. As you can see, there's only one flap. I've got just this ribbon here and it's got that beautiful classic burgundy leather lining. Now there's no back pocket. Now, why is this a best value handbag? Now, as we all know, Chanel prices, including pre-loved, have really shot up in the last few years. So there's no real such thing as a cheap vintage Chanel bag these days. But in the grand scheme of current Chanel pre-loved prices, this bag is still on the lower end. So I picked this bag up in 2020, June of 2020, for under 2,000 Australian dollars. So Mine was a little bit funny on this end, which contributed to the price being a bit lower. As you can see, the difference of the shape of the two ends, but that didn't really bother me too much. Now, compared to a classic flap in about the same size, which are going for over 
four, three, four thousand Australian dollars. I got this for under two thousand Australian dollars. So why is this a good value handbag? So number one, on the grand scheme of things, the price is already lower compared to other Chanel flat bags. Number two, you get the 24K coated hardware. So that already is a beauty in itself. And number three, if you are not happy with the strap length of a bag, you can improve the versatility of the bag by looping a ribbon through the grommets like I've done here. So I've just tied the ribbon together on the inside, as you can see here. And now that's allowed me to add extra straps to the bag. So I found that the strap length of this bag was too short, so I just looped the ribbon, and now I've got my own crossbody strap. And now I can make it whatever length I like if I'm not wanting to use the original strap that day. Now it does not come with a back pocket, so I know that can be a deal breaker for some of you out there, and um, that's not really a deal breaker for me. Now in terms of capacity as well, so I can wear this bag dog walking. So if I would like to fit my cardigan in there, that's fine. I don't know if you can fit a cardigan in classic flaps, but you can definitely fit a thin cardigan in this one. If I want to fit my smaller wallet, it's not a mini wallet and it's not a card holder, but that's fine. I can't fit a full size wallet in here. If I want to fit a phone in here, that's fine. So you can see the capacity is quite generous for a small bag. Now if you'd like to see my review video on this bag, I'll have it linked up above and down below for you. So under $2,000 Australian dollars is what I paid guys. I'm really happy with the value I got from this bag, particularly after adding this ribbon so that I can improve my strap options. Alternatively, you can use T-bar straps if you'd like instead of looping these ribbons. So I'll just demonstrate quickly. So here are some authentic Chanel T-bar straps that I got from my handbag that's just sitting there. So all you need to do is just push this T-bar through the hole of the grommet and then pull it through the other side. And then now that strap is attached. Okay guys, so now I have another strap added to the bag with T-bars and I don't need to have the ribbon there at all for that. So that's another good versatility of these bags with grommets is you can add T-bar straps. So isn't this bag beautiful for under 2000 Australian dollars? So if you're looking for a flat bag as an alternative to the classic flap or an alternative to the Chanel Diana, take a look at this guys. And I also have a video of this bag comparing it to the Chanel Diana as the look for less. So I'll link that up above and down below for you guys. So check out that video too. You guys will enjoy it. Okay guys, so now we're looking at bag number four and we're going back to my favorite brand, Louis Vuitton. So what is this guys? This is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Homme. So this is like a cosmetic pouch, and I think it might have originally been part of the men's line, hence the name Pochette Homme. And this can also be considered as an alternative to the Toiletry 26 as well, because it's roughly the same size, but it's just a bit shorter in height, and it is also in epi leather. This was also made in monogram canvas too, but the monogram canvas is not a soft one, but rather a stiff leather line monogram, sort of like the same structure of epi. So why is this a good value for money bag? So not only is this a clutch or a toiletry pouch, but if you insert a handbag liner with grommets, you can also turn this into a handbag. So here's my liner here. So I had bought this from KD Australia, but I had accidentally bought the toiletry 26 instead of the pochette home one. I don't know why I did that. So it's actually a bit too tall, so I had to fold it down to make it fit my push at home. So if you're looking for a liner for this, please buy the right one. Don't make the same mistake that I did and buy the wrong one. So I have recently worn this to a wedding as a handbag. And so let me show you how I did that. So you just unzip it, put your liner in. So you do want to be buying the liner with grommets or with rings. So I just added this ring myself because my liner was the wrong size. And when I folded it down, the grommet wasn't available anymore. And these are actually just um, photo frame 
hooks that I bought in a pack from Bunnings that I just sewed onto my liner. So I thought that was a nice durable ring to add. Okay, so the end with the long tab and the zipper. You just want to have your ring sticking out behind the zipper. Then you can zip your bag shut and now you have a ring on each side to add a strap. So let me show you the strap that I use to wear this as a bag to a wedding. So I just use this thin gold tone strap that just looks like so, just a thin chain. So mine has a really small lobster claw and the advantage of that is that I can actually loop the whole lobster claw through the ring. And that allows me to double up the chain. And I just wore the handbag like this to the wedding. So how versatile is that guy? So now I have a small handbag. So let me show you what it looks like as a crossbody bag. So guys, I paid 180 Australian dollars for this. Isn't that a great price? Isn't that great value for money? So you can still find these on eBay for a couple of hundred dollars, just depending on what condition you're looking for and what material. So you could get different leather epi or you can get that monogram one too. So this is just what the bag looks like as a crossbody. So how versatile is that? You can wear it as a dainty shoulder bag to go to a more formal event. You can wear it as a crossbody bag, as just a casual look. So I also wear this bag dog walking, so let me show you what can fit. So let's see if this full size wallet fits. Okay. Yep, that zips up. Can a full bottle of water fit? Can a full bottle of water fit? So yep, that zips up. I did have to take the full size wallet out of course. Can a thin cardigan fit? Sure can. So I did have to take the other things out to fit in the cardigan. So as you can see the capacity is not bad for a little bag. And this is quite structured as well. So not only do we have a cosmetic pouch, we also have a dainty shoulder bag, we also have a casual crossbody bag. So this is a super versatile piece and that's why it's great value for money. So if you want to see my review on this bag, I'll leave that linked up above or down below in the description box for you. So if any of you guys are looking for that affordable vintage luxury that's versatile and is not too flashy, this is one that you can definitely look at. And so we're ending this video with bag number five, and this is one of my newer acquired bags. And here she is, guys. This is my beautiful Hermes Sac Sandrine. That's right, guys, this is an Hermes bag. And how much did I pay for this? Under 2,000 Australian dollars. So that is a really good price considering it's an Hermes bag. So guys, if you'd like to see my unboxing video of this bag, I'll link it above and down below for you. So this is a beautiful box cuff leather vintage bag. Unfortunately, there's no back pocket, so that can be a deal breaker for some of you out there. It has a stirrups style class. So as you know, Hermes being an equestrian style brand, everything, a lot of things are based off horses and grooming horses so this is a stirrup style clasp which I'll just open for you and it opens up to a beautiful leather lined interior so again guys not all luxury bags these days come leather lined a lot of them come with fabric lining textile lining sometimes alcantara lining but this is a full leather bag inside and out and it's got one main compartment with a zipper compartment and a slip compartment so why is this great value for money? So number one, as per Hermes pricing, which is sometimes astronomical, this is on the lower end of prices. Number two, so check out this here. So we've got a clasp here and we've got an extra ring here. So this is part of why I bought this bag to begin with. So I can actually undo this clasp. It detaches from the ring. Now I can loop it through the ring and I can now attach this clasp to this extra ring here. And now I have a shoulder bag. So it's multifunctional. I can either have a longer shoulder bag or a shorter shoulder bag. And I actually have a strap extender on the way so that I can make this a longer crossbody bag.
So currently this is a short crossbody bag, so it sits just underneath the bus, and I've got a strap extender coming to give me an extra 15 centimeters on the strap so that it can sit down lower. So let's see why this is actually good value for money, because something can be a bit cheaper but not actually useful so let's see what can fit in here so can my cardigan fit in here yes it can so if you want to go out and take your little card holder and your phone and your lippy and your cardigan you can go out and it fits comfortably in the bag so as you can see the bag isn't too misshapen by having a cardigan in there so for me, it is really important that when you are going out with your handbag, that you can at least take the things that you need to take to feel comfortable. If I'm going out and the weather's a little bit iffy, it's switching between hot and cool and there's a bit of wind, I do want to have the option of having my cardigan there without having to hold it or tie it around my waist. So this is really nice that I can actually fit my thin cardigan in this bag. So if I'm taking the cardigan, I do have to sacrifice other things. Like I'm not going to take a full-size wallet, I'm just going to take a small card holder. So let's see, can a full size wallet fit in here? Okay, so the bag does close, but there is misshaping happening. So I probably would not use a full size wallet in this bag because that is too misshapen for a bag that's $2,000 for me. Even though on the grand scheme of things, there are a lot of handbags that cost more than $2,000, for me, this is one of my most expensive handbags. I don't want to misshape it. So here we have dual functionality. We can go shoulder or we can go crossbody, and we can fit a decent amount of things. And we've got Hermes as a fully leather lined handbag as well. So to me, that is a great value for money if you're looking to step or dip your toes into the Hermes pool. So thanks guys. That's my top five value for money vintage luxury handbags. Thanks for listening, everyone. Have a nice day. Bye.